A newly released report shows there are more homeless people in Riverside County than last year. News Channel 3's Marine Show live in studio now with a breakdown of the numbers here in the Valley and some of the possible reasons behind this trend. Marion. So, John, this video is from January, showing the annual homeless point in time count underway. And volunteers and county staff found homeless people within our communities, offered them services, and took a count. In all, connecting with 3,725 people. One of the main takeaways from this year's point in time count is the big increase. Riverside County's 2023 homeless point in time count shows a 12% increase in overall homelessness since last year. We're in a, a crisis situation right now with housing like I've never seen before. Coachella Valley Rescue Mission's Executive Director Darla Burkett has seen conditions worsen firsthand. And it's frightening. You know, so it's a very sad, hard time in our community right now due to the economy, due to the, the housing crisis, fentanyl crisis. In the Coachella Valley, the cities with the highest number of counted homeless people are Indio at 427, Palm Springs at 268, and Desert Hot Springs, 122. Overall, the county saw a 23% increase in unsheltered people who are those living in places like streets or abandoned buildings. The deputy director for the county's housing and workforce solutions, Greg Rodriguez, says it's partially because federal funding ended for Project Room Key, which checked people into hotels and helped them find permanent housing. That's why we saw such a drastic in, uh, decrease in the unsheltered last year, is because, again, we had a lot of those individuals in hotel rooms um, that we did full case management with as well and had a housing plan for them. He says other reasons include worsening economic conditions and family displacement. During the time of the count, Palm Springs had an emergency overnight shelter, which is no longer operating. Those individuals were um, traditionally they were unsheltered and on the street, um, but they would have been included in that shelter count that night. The county says the growth rate of overall homelessness in recent years has been improving. That our growth rate over um, the last three to four years has we only grew like by three percent. So it's a really good trend that we're seeing about the level. Um, uh, hopefully within a year or two, we'll see those numbers start to go down. Rodriguez says the point in time count is just that a snapshot of one day's work in the community. If you do see an increase is not to discount the services that are being provided or not to discount the efforts that not only the county is doing, but what we're doing in partnership with our cities. And one figure that stood out to us was the big increase in homeless people recorded in Desert Hot Springs this year versus last year. It more than doubled. So ahead at six, the county breaks down the likely cause of that jump. In studio, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3.